It's mad! What sort of person makes this stuff up? Okay, here we are in a glorious resolution of 800 by 600 fucking pixels. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Actually, let me go back and show you something first. Options. That's it. That's all the options you have to work with in this game. There are no video or audio settings whatsoever. You see, this is what happens when you port something that was made for consoles to the PC without taking into account that personal computers have varying hardware and maybe can handle more demanding graphics or something. And at the time this game came out, there were complaints about the fact that the PC didn't get its own version of the game. Meanwhile, the widescreen gaming forums have an article on the Goblet of Fire and a proposed solution to fix it, although it involves hex editing the executable file, and in order for that to work, the original executable has to be swapped out for a no-CD crack version, according to them. But okay, I gave it a try. But no matter what resolution I attempted, the game always loaded itself up into a 640x480 resolution instead. So I just gave up. I'm not saying this doesn't work, of course, but it didn't work for me, and I'm just documenting what happened when I did a few test recordings before I began to play the game for real. If you want to try it yourself, though, then by all means do so. You might have better luck than me. And one other thing I figured out in between test runs while looking for information is that the game actually does support controllers. But I don't recall it ever telling you that, so I found that information out by accident. But hey, I can try using my Xbox 360 controller for once, so that's nice. And just for the sake of not appearing too biased against the game and only showing negative reviews from Metacritic, here's a positive review I found. This guy actually gave it a 10 out of 10. Okay, so now that I've replaced whatever bias I had beforehand with a neutrality bias instead, seriously look that up, that's an actual thing slash problem in news media. Let's actually start playing this, though. The Jinx button? Well, it also says select with the spacebar, so I guess I'll just use that. Yeah, I already forgot which controller button does the Jinx attack. The villagers of Little Hangleton still called it the Riddle House. Half a century ago, a servant had found all three riddles dead. Perhaps if we were to do it without the boy, my lord? No. Harry Potter is as good as mine. It is decided. Harry Potter and his friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger travelled by portkey to the Quidditch World Cup final, where they saw Ireland defeat Bulgaria. Later that night, a gang of Death Eaters, followers of Lord Voldemort, rampaged across the campsite. Arthur Weasley sent Harry, Ron and Hermione back to the portkey. Well, I do like the visual style of that introductory movie. Alright, here we go. Oh, what the fuck? Literally. Literally! Only two seconds into this game and I already got butt-blasted out of nowhere. And this is what it would have looked like during an earlier test recording where the controller didn't work because I didn't have it set up yet. Then I discovered that the WSAD keys didn't work, unlike the last three games, and that you're pretty much forced to use the arrow keys if you're going to be using a keyboard at all. But it gets worse. Whether you're using the controller or the mouse, you have absolutely no control over the in-game camera. What are those things? Oh shit, it just chomped my leg. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just spamming the Jinx button until it eventually fucking dies. So yeah, I can't look around at all, so the mouse is actually completely useless if you were going to be using the keyboard. Why the fuck wouldn't you let the players control where they're looking as they move around in a 3D environment? Shit, more of these things. God damn it! Yeah, I think we all know that they bite now. One thing I do like, though, is that you can hold down the Accio button and the beans will just come floating towards you. Okay, how do I do that? Shit. 
shit. Finally. Uh, damn it. Am I supposed to do something else? Okay, I guess I had to wait for everyone to join in. Also, the screen kept saying to hit C to cast the spell, so it seems to just tell you what keyboard controls to use regardless of whether or not you're even using the keyboard or using a controller instead. Great, more shit to deal with. Oh, well, that's a great idea. Lift it up and throw it away. I just picked up a rock instead. I'm having some trouble aiming where I want. I doubt I'd be having this problem if the in-game camera simply followed me from behind in a normal third-person view kind of a way. Am I supposed to be doing something right now? Oh, okay, there's another dung bug thingy. Shit, I accidentally picked it up and put it back on all four legs and the fucking thing bit me. Forget which button does Accio. Oh, never mind, the beans vanished. Okay, so you can make them come towards you now, but they also don't sit on the ground indefinitely anymore. Accio! Come on! Hey! Over there! Beans! We've been picking up beans this whole time. What's going on? Oh, it's Arthur Weasley again, and we have to move another boulder. Good enough. Well, that was nice. That chocolate frog approached me this time. They're a bit smaller now, though. And it looks like different colored beans do different things now. Hey, Mr. Weasley. Shit! For fuck's sake. Why? Okay, you know what's going on now? The same button that I used for when Guardian Leviosa is now being used to pull this log. I'm not sure why I find this confusing. In all three previous games, every single spell was done with the same left mouse button. Maybe I just need to get used to playing this with the controller now. But it's like, the four primary buttons on the controller all do spells, they just each do different kinds of spells, even though whatever you end up casting depends on what you're aiming at. So it's like having four mouse buttons or something for different categories of actions. This isn't a bad thing, necessarily. I'm sure I'll get used to it soon enough. I just need to remember which button does what. Okay, this is one of the last things I wanted to deal with right now. I legitimately find dealing with these creatures annoying and difficult when there's more than one, but now we're fucking surrounded by them. I don't know what else to do other than spam jinxes at them. Ron and Hermione were levitating a couple of them at one point. That would be fine if there weren't any others crawling around, since having them float in the air renders them harmless, but it also seems to leave you defenseless as well. After all, you're using your wand for one thing at a time, I guess. Hey, there's a Death Eater standing on a rock over there. I keep apparating and disapparating from here, and I'm just running around collecting beans even though they're shooting jets of that infamous green light all over the place. What does Orbis do? I'm gonna fuck this guy up, though. Oh my god, did you fucking see that? All my attacks hit the side of the fucking rock he was standing on. God damn it, I want to be able to move the in-game camera myself with a mouse or analog stick or whatever so I can not only see where I'm going, but actually aim up and down to attack things at different heights. And that reminds me, something else that I've subconsciously been trying to do for the last few minutes but also doesn't work, and it's one of the most basic controls you would program into not only a 3D game, but even a ton of 2D games. Can you imagine what it is? Well, I'll tell you, and I hope to god I'm wrong because maybe I'm an idiot that hasn't figured it out yet and I've only been playing for a few minutes now, but I don't think there's any way to fucking jump in this goddamn game! I seriously can't jump? Are you fucking kidding me? How do they fuck this up so badly? As the angry video game nerd would say, what were they thinking?
Well, it's not like I can aim my wand upwards to stun him or anything. Not even you, the most brilliant witch in her class, can point your arm and by extension your wand above your head? Then we truly are fucked. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Also, you were pretty much yelling your dialogue out loud. I'm not sure why that Death Eater couldn't hear you and then turn around to kill you or do who knows what. Although he probably can't aim his wand downwards either. Well, so far in this abomination of a game, Arthur Weasley is probably my favorite character. Well, good job, Harry. You just stranded Hermione and the rest of the Weasleys back at that war zone. You prick. And those words are flashing by so fast that I can barely read them. A new term at Hogwarts. Hogwarts will this year play host to the Triwizard Tournament. Please join me in welcoming our guests, Obertong Academy of Magic, proud sons of Dermstar. I can never remember how to pronounce Bobaton or whatever. May I introduce Professor Moody? Defense against the Dark Arts, teacher. He looks normal aside from the eye. Also, if the Death Eaters aren't trying to seek out Voldemort to bring him back, then killing Harry, if they had the chance, would inadvertently mess up Voldemort's plan for the particular body he wants, since he desires Harry's blood in particular for the resurrection ritual that he needs Wormtail to perform for him. Okay, there's a ton of lessons, but I'll start those next time around. That's cool, by the way. We can see it panacea before learning what it is. I don't know if I even care. What else is back here? Oh, more stuff I haven't collected. Guess I'll get started on that in the next video. The ugly thing did me! Took a chunk out of me! That's 